In the bubble, defeating his former team, the Miami Heat, in six games. The Hall of Famer, Irvin Magic Johnson, back here with us. And Magic, I want to get back to something you said earlier. You said the Lakers will repeat, not might, will repeat. And then you mentioned something about LeBron, MJ, neck and neck. Can you please expound upon that? Because I'm sure <clears throat> Stephen A. wants to respond. No, I said he, he gets that next one. It's going to be hard not to say he's right there with MJ. I said the next one, which will be five, because it's okay. hard to say he, six and four. It's hard to say he's overtaken Michael at four championships. So I think that once he wins and, and, and also repeats, the key word here is repeat. That that puts him in a good, good, that's a good argument right there. I love where LeBron is going. He's with the right organization. And I think that Rob Palenka, we, we talked about it last night. You add a piece to what they already have, and they're going to be right there. Well, listen, I'm not going to argue with you about this now. We'll have plenty of time to get into that in the future. And I don't want to sit up there and, 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 and come across as remotely disrespectful to the king at this particular moment in time. He's the champion. He deserves it. I'm real proud of him. LeBron's got a lot to be proud of. No mistake about it. I got him number two or three on Mount Rushmore, really number two. I don't think that's disrespectful or hating on him at all. Having said that's that. That's right. You and I were talking last week, Magic, and you talked about how no champion who repeats fails to tweak something along the way. Well, let me throw this by you. Anthony Davis has a player option. Contavious Caldwell-Pope has a player option. And after Danny Green missed that shot, even though it was stupid for people to get at him the way that they did, he is getting paid $15 million. Caldwell-Pope is only at eight. He going to want his money. Okay, so I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the Avery Bradleys of the world with a player option. If you're going to tweak something, what are you going to tweak? And are you sure, Magic Johnson, that Anthony Davis is going <laughs> to stay? I am positive I Anthony Davis is coming back. What, listen, this has been the greatest situation for Anthony Davis and the Lakers. Anthony Davis now is known across the world, right, because of the platform of the Lakers. And then... Him and LeBron again next season, man, they can repeat. You don't want to leave here and not have a guy like LeBron James playing alongside of you because the same thing that happened, what happened in New Orleans, what happened to Anthony Davis again. They make each other better. And then last but not least, this is the great thing. When LeBron retires, he just says, here, LeBron, uh, here Anthony Davis, it's your team now. You go on and lead the Lakers to the next five or six championships. So, I Just think time it's for Luca to get there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not worried about Luca right now. We can't worry about Luca right now. We talking about right now. <laughs> I mean, who are you going to pair with AD? You're going to be the hey, next hey, superstar. Is going to pair with them. Hey, hey, that's yes, right. Luca, come <laughs> on to the, to the Lakers. I, I like that. I like that. But Anthony Davis also loves living in Los Angeles too. Magic, I want to I want to talk about what this year means versus next year. So there will be those who say, and it's legitimate, the Warriors weren't around. Steph was hurt and all this stuff. Um, now I think the Warriors, before they got KD, were looking at a LeBron-led team that had a crew and thought, I don't know, we can't beat them. Remember, they didn't have Kyrie or, or Kevin Love when they barely beat him in six games when Della Vadova was the second best right. player. Then LeBron came back and beat him the next year. Then they got KD. That's not even fair. But it leads me to the following thought. Warriors are going to reload. They're not coming into next season just with Steph and Clay and Dre. There's no Iguodala there anymore. There's no KD. They're going to reload. They're going to try to take it to the next level on the Lakers. What about dealing with a reloaded Warriors team next year? Of course, you know, I'm fans of Steph and Clay, right? I hope that they come back and they're healthy. And then I love Draymond Green, the former Spartans. You know, I'm always cheer for Gr uh, Draymond Green. But at the end of the day, the Lakers will still be the team to beat. I think if Golden State is healthy, and I'm sure they're going to make a good move. I don't know if they'll keep that second pick or not. They will be the second team. I think Denver, the way they finished, and Murray and Jokic, I think they'll be the third team and then the Clippers will probably be the fourth team. <laughs> so I think those will be the four powerhouses in the West and I still think with now 
with the experience that the Lakers got, especially all the other guys. Forget LeBron, but Anthony Davis got championship experience. KCP got championship experience. You, you know, I can well, keep going. All those guys now will come back and be better next season. Ron was like, uh, you could do this forever. Hold on, Max. Magic, I just want you to, uh, uh, before you leave, I want you to address two topics. Number one, okay. um, Max Kellerman uh, calling Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world for the last year until he <laughs> had to throw in a oops. You can address oops. that, but number two, but number two and more importantly, you know, I was of the mindset that if the Clippers were to win this year, it would have been that much tougher for the Lakers because now you got you to gotta overcome that because another team learned how to win. I want to know, because the Clippers have not won, and now you've got them fourth, how much damage have they done to their franchise with Kawhi and Paul George in light of the fact that they weren't able to get it done this year? Well, I think the Clippers, listen, what's missing with the Clippers, they just don't have a, a leader. And... and, and See, a superstar can be a superstar, too. So Kawhi is a superstar, and he plays both ends of the court. Paul George, I think, is a star emerging. He could be a superstar. But you need somebody to lead the team. See, LeBron James is both. He's the best player in the world, but he's also the greatest leader in the world. So I think that's what's missing with the Clippers. And the fact that you know, they had talked all season how they wanted the Lakers and they had their opportunity, but they came up short. And I want to give Rondo a lot of credit here. People thought I was crazy when I said you need multiple ball handlers to win, not just putting all the pressure on LeBron James to create shots for his teammates. We needed a second guy to do that. So when LeBron sat on the bench, Rondo could come in and do the same thing. Man, he was definitely playoff Rondo. I, I know he hates that term, but this young man took his game to a whole nother level. Last night, he proved again why he's so special, why he's great as not only a basketball player, but also a leader. Because if you look at our team, this guy was the second leader. I'm talking about in practice, in the locker room, Film session, it was him and LeBron who took over the team. So, Rondo, thank you for signing with the Lakers, believing in the, the, the strategy to rebuild the Lakers because he was a key piece of us winning it as well. So, Anthony Davis and LeBron James and Rondo as well. That's a great point. His second ring, 14th season, Springfield, Massachusetts might be calling his name now. Two IQs on the court with LeBron That's right. and Rondo. And, and Molly, before, before I go, yeah. I knew I wanted Ty Lue to be in that position as a Laker coach, but I want to give Frank Vogel a lot of credit. Every single series, he made defensive adjustments. Yeah. That's a great coach. Frank Vogel did an outstanding job. No question, especially how he switched it up last night, and we saw how they yeah. came out unbelievable yeah. from the jump. Yeah. Magic, always a pleasure to see you. Hope we get to see you in person soon. Stay safe. All the best to you and yours. You know, when I'm coming to New York, I'm going to be on the show live because I got to face Stephen A. and Max, and I <laughs> yeah, get to you hug do. you. In our new <laughs> studio, right? Brooklyn Bridge right That's behind right. us up here on the roof, trying not to get rained on. All right, Magic, we'll All talk right, to my... you soon. Take care. All right, I see you.